Greetings and salutations. Relax, Gamer Nation. Wow, I completely forgot what to say there. Crazy. Uh, as we are on most occasions, this is Halgen, and it's storming. Not a big surprise here. But today, I have no idea what happened there. It must have happened while I was doing the time lapse over there. Um, maybe a enemy came around and shot it? I don't know. I'll fix it eventually. Maybe. No, I will. I just don't know when. <laughs> uh, I haven't done a whole lot around the base, but I have uh, decided to add a little color to the inside. In the form of posters! Motivational posters! And they're all telling me to go to space. But I got a few things to do before I go to space. I gotta take out that security station. That's gonna be a big deal. It's somewhere over there. I don't know. Um, should be over there. Mountain base is over there. SPR TP can. Oh, did the security station get nuked? Nah. Probably just out of out of my range, so I don't really know it's there. So yeah, but I added a little bit of color here. I got things, posters, they're all telling me to go to space. You know, stuff like that. And I would love to go to space. But as a loyal What company are we with? Civil line employee. I need to follow orders, even if orders are sporadic. And that's to go to the security station, get some information, and then go to space. But before we do that, I have a few things to do here. Um, I played around and decided I want to do a few things. I want to set up hacking computers at the white locations. Maybe I'll put them on the red locations too. I don't know if I can get close to the red locations. Those are going to be expensive. I want to finish the mining barge. Which is currently out there in the storm. And I want to add this, expand the base. Because we have been living in this room for a long time. And it's about time we get some dedicated bedrooms going on. I have no idea where. Maybe I'll build vertically. No, I don't think I can build vertically. I got stuff up there. Maybe I'll build a hut of some sort. Hmm. Also, my system is. Oops, hold on. Oh, no, Shift F11. My simulation speed is kind of tanking. <laughs> I'm at 0.57. I'm not sure if a reload will fix that. It may, it may not. But this, this save is getting pretty uh, chunky. Pretty chunky indeed. So it's like molasses sometimes, like right now. Feels like I'm going so slow. <coughs> also, for some weird reason, I still have the cough from the cold, and my voice is still kind of funky, and it's been over a week since I had a cold. Got that cold, so I think it's my, it might be some sort of bounce off from my COVID experience as well, which would really, really suck. Uh oh Um, I am missing something here. Huh. Where did that go?
Um, where'd my plane go? Did I move it over here? No. It's not over there. Um, I'm pretty sure the wind stole my plane. I have no idea where it went. Wherever it is, it probably got destroyed. Huh. See, this is why I make hangars. But the problem is that the hangars don't like aircraft. They don't like aircraft in the hangars. It's weird. Uh, so I guess I'm going to have to build a new plane again, eventually. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, yeah, it got destroyed. It got picked up by the wind and flung. Yep, I think I gotta add something to my uh, uh, my list. Cause look at this. This is probably all from it. Because it's all in a line. Bounce, 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 bounce in bed. That's uh, crazy. Okay. So I'm going to have to build another hangar eventually here to house my other plane. <coughs> I think I'm also going to have to raise the pipeline a bit. That shouldn't be too big of a deal. Just a few more blocks up so that they can get to it. Oh no. Hey, did you hear that? Did you hear the crack in the atmosphere? Lightning. I did. And I know that what that means. Mm-hmm. Yep. You guessed it. Oh, hello. Okay, Bob, get it. Oh, wait. Is Bob off? Nope, they're on. Okay, Bob, there you go, Bob. Unfortunately, that's going to be... Not good. Unless I get this to drain... No, it's fine. It's fine. It's just a crap ton of iron. No big deal, right? <laughs> it might not be a big deal right now, but it will probably be a big deal in the future. No, oh, hold on a second. There we go. Pipeline's higher, which means we can actually get underneath it. That felt really close. I think my whiskers, my facial hair kind of got uh, zapped here. That close. Uh, let's see here. Where can I build this bunk house? Or... Dedicated bitch? I don't know. I pretty much surrounded this core, and there's nothing really... Um... Not much I can do with that. I'd have to tear out a lot of stuff. Easiest thing would be to tear this out. Tear out this parking pad here. Move it somewhere else. Maybe to the side over there, possibly. 
cover up some of this, some of these uh, scars from explosions and stuff. Yeah, I'm gonna have to think on that. Stupid. This weather really bums me out. It really does. Apparently I can get rid of this and expand it up this way. But I can only go so far because I got my nuclear re my nuclear thing made up here. Steam maker. Why is this not pulling the spent fuel out? Whitelist. Did I never actually send this? Oh, for Pete's sake. I'm going to get zapped up here. A whitelist. What is it? It is called spent fuel. Spent nuclear fuel. Okay. We can drain that. That can go into the nuclear reprocessor. Looks like our composters have gone through all of our uh, H2 stuff. Made me organics. Three point five k. Nice. Organic. By a lab. Nice. Okay. Filter. Water filters finished doing all this stuff? Really? Nice. Oh, wow. Okay. Oh, I still have some alien lights here. Cargo. This does not need to be in this O2H2 generator. I want proper ice in there. There we go. Water filters are starting up again. Proper ice is going in there, alien ice. I almost want to make a loop to prevent alien ice from getting into an O2H2 generator. It's not a big deal, though. filters are doing their thing I can easily get alien ice because I'm kind of on a planet with an ice lake that is alien ice okay, what else do we want to do here dedicated farm dedicated mess hall dedicated guest house take out the security station get off of Halligan sounds simple right 
I should actually build another. I'll think about that. I'll build another one of these things for my completed list. Once I figure out what I'm doing about uh, expanding here. Because, yeah, I could easily expand out here. I might want to... expand my wind turbines out as well. This one's at the right height. That one's mostly at the right height. But I think I want to actually move it out further. Maybe bring it over that way. Yeah. That's something that I will get rid of eventually here, but first off, I need to get rid of this stuff. Move them around. But where can I do that? Hmm. Let me think. Okay, so I've looked around the base, and I think I want to put my vehicles over here, but... I need to get this thing out of the way first. Um, I'll have to make a different location to actually build these things. But another thing that I want to do is, once the strip of storm's gone, is I modified the blueprint slightly. I'm not going to, uh, I'll just add the bits to this that I put on the blueprint. But I set it up so that the landing gear actually auto lock when it comes in. Because I was having that problem where at the end of the episode I was like dropping these things and they're hitting the ground and then they're flipping. Uh, hopefully with the auto locking landing gear that won't be a problem. Uh, but this storm has to go away first. And I don't know when that's going to be. Ace? No, okay. That might be somewhere else in another world that I'm working on. Uh. Ooh. Storm's lifted. Lightning's still coming down, but the storm's lifted. Once the electric part of the storm is gone, and I can start doing what I wanted to do. Frickin' lightning. But yeah, here, I'm gonna put another... Um, I was gonna put another hanger here. I can probably put one on the other side. Probably have room for that. Ooh, it's tight. But it can be done. Okay, electrical storm, you're still around. This is unfortunate. That's fine. Okay, so what I'm going to do is going to go to creative. I'm just going to turn those on for now. Um, I want to bring in the... 
mobile mining station. What is going on? There. And we'll just drop it here. Hopefully it doesn't flip. Oh, did I accidentally embed it into the ground? Might have. Whoa. No, it's just floating there. Okay. Fuel critical. I think it's actually embedded into the ground. No. Oh. Okay. I gotcha. Okay. So now that we have this here. I can mirror what I did on the arms here. I did mention in Hello. in my video, uh, in the last video there, that i thinking of making this smaller. Critical. And the only way I can think of that is by reducing the pistons here.
Okay, so that took me longer than intended. Oof. I chopped uh, two pistons off of this and uh, two pistons off of this. Oh, this might be a problem. Like, how deep is this going to go? I don't know. I ain't test it. Kristen. I might need to play around with this. Oh, that won't work. <laughs> I actually have to spin it. That's something that should probably have, is some guns. <laughs> Let's see here, what do we got? Excavate, cruise, cruise, dump, stone. Where's my dumpers? They're there. Couldn't repair, pick that up. Yeah, this should probably have a couple of guns on here. What the hell is going on here? Um... Wow, this is, uh, this is freaky. Main arm rotor, let's turn that on. Let's do that as well. Because there's too much stone in there, I think. No velocity. Two velocity. What? Why is it two velocity? I don't know which one's which. Okay. If we do that, is that gonna make it not? Explodify everything. Oh, okay. Well, that that worked. Jeez. What the hell happened? I made a big, uh, big hole. <laughs> we never did find out how far I could go down. I guess I could easily be like, hey, let's, let's do this. Let's add a head. And let's add, uh, a single drill, which apparently needs steel plate. Thought I had some on me, but I probably um, released it into my cargo system. This worked a lot better when I was testing it. <laughs> and didn't explodify the ground like that. I think it has something to do with the wind, or maybe it's a gravity. Fuel Perhaps there was too much stone in the drill? And it went a little haywire. It's possible. Just needs the steel plates. Yeah, it's too dark. 
I'm sure I have some steel plates. Oh, I don't have a lot of steel plates. Okay. Okay, now that it's daytime, let's see if that drill is complete. Yes, it is. And it is on. Awesome. Let's see how far these can go. First. Fuel critical. My fuel is critical. Oh. Fuel critical. Yeah, O2. I'm not entirely sure how to measure that. Let's go here. Slash GPS. Top of pole. I don't think this is going to go too far. I think I might have to go back to, well, not necessarily back to the drawing board per se. But I definitely got to add more pistons to this thing. I think I'm going to need to do a bit of modification before this thing is ready to uh, roll or fly or whatever. One point seven five gravity. Not a friend to jetpacks. Reverse. There's a reason why I made it this long was to give myself extra drill space, extra piston space. Inventory full. Hmm, guess what? My inventory is full. Yeah, let's put a couple more of those on. I could probably put more. Actually, we're pretty high above the ground, right? How far can I go? Oh, 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 whoa, whoa, what the hell? God. Why? Here's the pistons. Okay. That is hard on the eyes. I don't know what rotor's which. I don't know why it's doing that. It's so annoying. Um... Turn those on and we'll just Oh shoot. <laughs> uh Wow. Okay, but if 
Before I do too much more, let's just make sure this thing is set up. Okay, it's locked. No velocity. Let's let's bring up this braking torque. Not sure if that's gonna matter much, but it's not going freaky yet. I don't know why it's spinning. There's no velocity. That's so weird. I have to basically... That is so weird. No, will, will this still spin? Or will it stop at 360? Okay, it will stop at 360. Um... Don't get it. It's almost like it's being hit by wind, but there was not enough wind to actually generate that. Let's try a brand new. Okay. Put another one on here. Is it going to do the same thing? It's doing something. Wow, I am just sliding all over it. That's that's nice. I don't know which pistons are which. Okay, now the rest should be the drill pistons. Or down pistons. That's not right. Okay, let's get this drill rotor figured out. My goodness. That's really fast. Inertia tents are set up. Inertia tents are set up. Not set up. I have no idea how this is going to work folding it. No idea. And I'm kind of afraid to try. So let's reverse these. I want to push these out. See how far I can go here. Pretty sure that's not supposed to happen. 
I did kind of push the piston really hard. Gotta figure itself out. Drills are tough. You know what? I think I want to add more drills. <laughs> Because I know for a fact that drills can be a pain in the butt, especially when you're going into uh, stone and, well, anything for that matter. But this way I can get the drills to keep on carving out a position here. That's stable enough, right? Can it repair the damage that I did over here? Yes. What? What happened there? Oh. Oh. Wow. It's, uh, it's, uh, it wrecked a bunch of stuff. Yeah, a bunch of stuff got wrecked. Oh, I don't know how this is going to be once it's actually released from the base. <laughs> oh, that's going to be fun. But you know what? I've gone far enough on this episode. I have no idea what it's going to turn into or and such. Because there's a bit of time lapse there. There's some crazy, weird things happening. That brings it up to date on the actual blueprint itself. I think I need to spin it faster. Well, let's let's release the beast here. Um, I'm gonna set these to auto lock. Oh, actually, let's just switch lock one of them. And let's actually disconnect it from the grid. This sounds like a horrible idea. Okay, it wasn't as horrible as I thought it would be. needs to turn off now. Oops. I have a really weird feeling that it might have done something to my other... What the heck? Huh. Well, what do you know? <laughs> Looks like I gotta fix some stuff. <laughs> oh my goodness. Wow. Okay. That's fine. I will fix that for the next episode, or by the next episode, or during the next episode. Maybe. We'll see. I have a limited time right now, so... Yeah. Okay, that's got power, it's got the drills going. It's getting me lots of stone. Now, this has a build and repair on it. We're gonna turn that off. Stone will be picked up by the base's build and repair. Okay, well, enough of this shenanigans. 
Uh, thank you for coming by and checking out this episode. Um, I've been a relaxed gamer. This has been uh, Abandoned Frontier, where we started. We built the arm for this thing, and it kind of exploded, and other things exploded, and more things exploded, and parts of my base got destroyed <laughs> because of explosions. But hey, uh, that's space engine juice for you. Anyway, until next time, I've been a Rex Game, and I will see you guys in the next one. Ciao.